excitable membranes, neurotransmission, and sensory systems. The survival of higher organisms is predicted on the ability to respond rapidly to sensory input such as sights, sounds, and smells. The responses to such stimuli may include muscle movements and many forms of intercellular communication. Hormones can move through an organism only at speeds determined by the circulatory system. In most higher organisms, a faster mode of communication is crucial. Nerve impulses can be propagated at speeds up to 100 meters per second, provide a means of intercellular signaling that is fast enough to encompass sensory recognition, movement, and other physiological functions and behaviors in higher animals. The generation and transmission of nerve impulses in vertebrates is mediated by an incredibly complicated neural network that connects every part of the organism with the brain, itself an interconnected array of as many as 10 to the 12th cells. Despite their complexity and diversity, the nervous systems of higher organisms all possess common features and common mechanisms. Physical or chemical stimuli are recognized by specialized receptor proteins in the membranes of excitable cells. Conformational changes in the receptor protein result in a change in enzyme activity or a change in the permeability of the membrane. These changes are then propagated throughout the cell or from cell to cell in specific and reversible ways to carry information through the organism. The secretion describes the characteristics of excitable cells and the mechanisms by which these cells carry information at high speeds through an organism. And that's excitable membranes, neurotransmission, and sensory systems. Have a great day.